And that's also the way of the universe kind of saying, hey, here you go. This is like the confirmation that you needed. This is a sign that you needed. You don't need this bitch. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just want to talk about why you should let the universe take the trash out for you and why you should also let the universe deliver to you what you need. So in a way you can look at this as the universe being your garbage man and also your delivery man. What you think is what you attract. The thoughts that you're actually abundant in is what you're going to bring into your life. And if you're thinking about more negative stuff, maybe you're very stuck on the past, maybe you're very stuck on certain people that don't serve you well, you're having a lot of thoughts about that, it still comes to you. So that's why you want to think as well and positive as possible because it's just going to be better for you. I mean, if you know that you have the power to control a lot of what goes on in your life by just your way of thinking, then think positively. 95% is the subconscious mind. 11 million bits of information per second goes to that subconscious mind. Conscious mind only gets 40. So I decided to personify the universe as the garbage man and the delivery man um, or woman. I live in an apartment and when I'm ready to throw out my trash, I gather it in a bag, walk to the garbage chute and let it go. That's it. That garbage goes down the chute and I'm done with it. Goodbye. I'm not looking for the garbage. I'm not thinking about the garbage. I'm not thinking about what I threw away. I can't remember what I threw away. I don't need it anymore. That's why I'm not caring about it. That's all the stuff I don't need. I don't need shitty thoughts, you know, ideas of shitty people, shitty experiences, shitty beliefs, like deep rooted beliefs and things like that. They can go in the trash. They can go with the garbage that I gather up because I say, hey, you know what? This thing, this, this lip gloss has no use in my life. It's going in the trash. I don't need any more. Get out of my sight. No, I actually love this lip gloss. The point is you can apply that with the things in your life. You don't need all this nonsense that doesn't serve you anymore. Now, when I'm ordering something and I go on some website to go buy maybe some clothes, maybe some electronics, I want to have that thing in my life because it's going to enhance my life in some way, even if it's just to look at it and smile because it's actually pretty useless, whatever. Um, I'm getting something out of it. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you too. I make that order with intention. I send my little monies across the internet, little bits of packets and shit going across the internet to get me what I need. I get the order confirmation. I, I get this estimate of shipping. Okay, it should come in a couple days, maybe a couple weeks. Um, but I know it's coming. I know what's on the way. I know that the delivery man, postman, whoever is going to bring that package to me and I'm going to have said thing. You go to your mailbox, you go to, you know, wherever, your post office, wherever you get your packages, your doorstep, and you pick it up and you take it in, you open it and you, you smile because you're happy with whatever it is that you got. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life because I have this item until I go back on my phone and I go back on my computer and start looking for another thing to buy. There are times where it gets delayed. I don't doubt that that thing is coming to me. When we think about getting packages and stuff as well, I like I said, I'm in an apartment. I have a limited amount of space. I can't just go and buy huge things with all this, you know, stuff that I don't need, stuff that I, I no longer benefit from. So let the things you don't need go. They don't need to stay in your life, especially if you want new things coming into your life. Yeah, this is how you have to be for the things that you want in your life. You can't have doubts about it not coming. You can't say, oh, I don't know. You have to believe it's coming. And also when you're buying things online, you are making it in that moment. That's a split second decision. The payment goes through, or the company gets that notification. You want some item. They got to go ship it out to you. You made that happen. Because you can also want things and do your little research and pin it on your little Pinterest board and then just keep it there. Like you could just do nothing about it. And then you're like wondering how your life would be if you had this thing instead of just actually just going and getting it. Are you going to actually do something about it and go get it? Are you going to accept it? Let the universe do its job? Are you going to let the universe do its thing? Bring to you that package, bring to you that parcel, bring to you that item that you've wanted. And like with the trash. Are you going to hang on to bits of trash and become a hoarder? 
Are you going to keep all this garbage? Garbage is what doesn't serve you anymore. When you make food, you're chopping up vegetables. Where does it go? The garbage, compost, whatever it is. The point is, it's, it, it's getting out of your life. You don't sit there and say, oh my God, wait, wait, wait. I might need that banana peel. I might need that lima bean can later. Or I might need that margarine tub. I might need that tub so I can use it to store stuff. What is it with like ethnic families and storing shit in like used containers of like ice cream? Like, sit down and think about the things in your life that have no value to you. They don't matter. You don't need them. It's garbage to you. And then you have to let it go. And the way you let it go is you actually just like properly remove it from your life. So um, like the garbage, you got to still go around, get all the garbage, put it in one big garbage bag, take the trash out. The point is you got to also make effort to get rid of that stuff too. The universe will do its thing, but you also have to be ready to let it do its thing. And when the universe gets to do its thing, your life's going to be a lot easier because you're not hanging on to all this unnecessary trash. And you're also not preventing yourself from having new things come into your life that's going to help you. I had this experience with somebody that really made me realize how much the universe was actually doing me a favor. I don't know. I just thought to myself, wow, the universe just took up the trash for me. Just like that. Thank God. I basically had that moment. I'm like, you know what? This is actually great. It was a very, I think, monumental experience that I had with somebody where they kind of just show their true colors so quickly that I was like really shocked. And it kind of made me sort of understand why I am the way I am and why I should not let my guard down. Doing videos for this channel has also helped me let go a little bit more of like things that I would be normally really worried about. These are obviously things that are important to me and I'm okay with that. People will judge me. People already judge me. People already judge you too. And so you have to just be yourself because people just, they're going to judge either way, okay? They're going to judge either way. When people do show their true colors, you know, believe them. And that's also the way of the universe kind of saying, hey, here you go. This is like the confirmation that you needed. This is the sign that you needed. You don't need this bitch, okay? Like that's basically the universe helping you out. Now, some people don't listen to that. Maybe they're having a bad day. A bad day looks very, very different from multiple signs telling you that this person is nothing but trouble. Sometimes in that bad day, you learn a lot about that person, how they really feel. Cause like everything is coming to the surface. Not to like say to be paranoid or anything, but honestly, sometimes people really do tell on themselves. If you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more like it, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. Um, and also like and comment. Let me know what you think. I'm always curious to see what you guys think about me and my ramblings um, because, you know. <laughs> so yeah, thanks guys. Bye.